MedPlane.com. Medical talk made simple. Medical marijuana may be the next big thing for treating high-grade glioma, which is an aggressive brain tumor. A recent study published November 2014 by Molecular Cancer Therapeutics revealed that two ingredients, the cannabidiol and tetrahydrocannabinol, isolated from cannabis, as in marijuana, enhance the effect of radiation, which is a treatment modality of cancer, against high-grade glioma. High-grade glioma is known in the medical world as one of the most feared types of brain and spinal cord tumor among human adults. It affects the glial cells, the supportive components that glue the brain nerve cells together. The long-term survival rate of glioma is low, and the standard treatment for this problem remains largely unsuccessful. The treatment options for the management of glioma include surgery, radiation therapy, and chemotherapy. Surgery is the most common initial treatment of glioma. After surgery, patients with high-grade glioma undergo radiation therapy. Some patients may even receive chemotherapy after radiation therapy to have a more targeted therapy. In their attempt to improve the treatment of outcome of patients suffering from high-grade glioma, scientists tried using each of the marijuana ingredients, the cannabidiol, also known as CBD, and the tetrahydrocannabinol, also known as THC, in combination with radiotherapy in a number of glioma cell lines. Their results reveal a duration and dose-dependent reduction in cell activity of the tumor cells. Pre-treating glioma cells with a combination of these marijuana ingredients four hours before standard irradiation increased the cell's sensitivity to radiotherapy. Previous studies show that cannabinoids, the naturally occurring components found in marijuana, has the ability to inhibit the growth of glioma as well as neutralize the other cancer-related cell activities in the laboratory setting. The National Cancer Institute stated that cannabinoids are useful in the treatment of side effects related to cancer. By federal law, possessing marijuana is illegal in most states of America. However, a growing number of states are pushing the legalization of its medical use. At the moment, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration are still looking into the approval of cannabis for the treatment of certain types of cancer and other medical conditions. Two commercially available cannabinoids are now legally used for the treatment of cancer-related side effects such as nausea. Dronabinol, which is a THC-containing medication, and Nabilone, a synthetic cannabinoid much similar to THC. Sativex, another drug that contains an almost equal amount of CBD and THC, is now legally used in the United Kingdom and other European countries to treat spasticity caused by multiple sclerosis, which is a debilitating disease that results from the body's own immune system attacking the protective covering of the nerves. Get the latest health news and info at medplane.com and hope to see you on Facebook and Twitter.